Hi, this is Brian Jones, and I'd like to introduce you today to CodeChat, part of a programmer's word processor which transforms source code like this Python I've got here into a web page you can see on the right side of the screen. This allows developers to view their program as a beautiful and descriptive document. For example, you can use tables to describe the operation of an algorithm, images to illustrate the operation of a state machine or other essential parts of your code, hyperlinks to provide useful reference information. If I want to know what um, version is and how it works, I've got an immediate link to the documentation and can know exactly how that's specified. I can use screenshots to explain how my code works and what it looks like when it runs, or equations and diagrams for scientific computing tasks to describe the operation of a quad rotor and how a formula translates into the equivalent source code. As another example, scientific computing in terms of developing integrator, where again we've got formulas and the resulting source code, where the source code looks very much like the equation I'm presenting up here. And this is really just the beginning of what is possible. I mean, really what Code Chat is after is I want to change the way you think by intermingling your ideas with your implementation, implementation as code. Your documentation and your code are one and the same. Because really this draws on the background, the previous work that Donald Knuth did in his development called Linear Programming. He created what I consider a beautiful paper. Major portions of this paper in which he introduces literate programming are produced, for example, starting here. All this is actually produced from, by his literate programming system. It's truly an elegant thing and goes through and presents, for example, a bit of the code and explains the why and includes variables. It's very descriptive. The way he does it is you take web source and either convert that into a PDF using DVI to PDF or you take a web, a, a literate programming source and convert that into a Pascal file. And the output, as I said, is beautiful. Unfortunately, the input is not so beautiful. Here's the actual source, the literate programming source, and I find this a bit difficult to read. And I think that people, programmers who aren't familiar with literate programming might find this rather intimidating. Even worse, the output of the program is absolutely unreadable. Uh, it would be lots of fun to try to throw that into a debugger and single step that code and try to understand what in the world was going on. As a consequence, literate programming by and large has failed to be widely accepted. The only variants that have really made much progress are jo Doxygen and Javadoc. For example, the entire Java platform is documented using Javadoc and it provides a very usable and searchable way to go through and understand what all the documentation is and how it works. And they've picked a much simpler process. In these two tools, you go directly from source code to a document. So CodeChat tries to do the same thing. We're going to produce a document directly from the source code. We're going to employ human readable markup and we're going to integrate with a beautiful GUI to make producing that much easier. In the next video, I'd like to show you exactly how I'll go about using the CodeChat tool and its host environment, Enki, to produce beautiful, expressive programs that will make you a better programmer.